In this video, I'm going to be once again gambling away literally a month worth of artifacts into the strong box in the hope of getting some better artifact pieces for my Yaimiko. The thing is ever since update 3.0, the Thundering Fury set has become a lot stronger than it was previously, and I felt like running full piece Thundering Fury on Yaimiko would be better than what I have on her right now. I've also saved up a bit of 3 and 4 star artifacts so that this time around I'll be able to level up some of the artifacts that I'm going to be getting, and without further ado, let's jump straight into it. So what I'm aiming for is at least one good Thundering Fury piece from this rolling session. Just one, it's not that much. Actually, I feel like I might get two today. Let's aim for two. Yeah, let's just start by fathering all these artifacts. Okay, so the first 39. What are we gonna get? Ooh, five sands. Can we get at least one attack or a good LNG recharge one? Ooh, oh my god. The first piece that we click on is a good one. If it all rolls into crit rate or crit damage, then it'll be a god piece. Locking this one. Next one. Hmm, not needed. Nope. Nope. No. No. Ah, it just had to be defense. Not this one. Hmm. I'll keep it. If it rolls into crit damage, then it'll be a good piece after all. Feather. Bad. Horrible garbage and that was the first 39 artifacts okay so we got one very very good one and it was the first one that we clicked on as well so i'm not expecting much from the next 39 artifacts that we're going to be putting in but let's see we might still get a very good goblet or maybe a circlet i want maybe a good flower or maybe a feather that is going to be nice on my yaimiko Let's go. Double crit plus attack and elemental mastery. Okay, so we have more goblets this time. And also for circlets, we still have three um, sands, but this time we don't have any um, flowers. Let's start from the left side this time around. Hmm. Ooh, attack though. It just had to be attacked, didn't it? Not good defense. Not good. Okay, the flowers. Nope. And, oh, so close. Nope. No. Nope. Ooh, should I keep this one? I mean, it has attack and also energy recharge. Should I? Yeah, why not? And the sands, nope. Not good at all. And, ooh. I mean, it has EM and also max roll onto crit rate. Should I roll on it? Yeah, I guess. But if it doesn't roll into crit rate for the first roll, then I'll throw it away. And moving on to our third batch of 39 artifacts. And let's see what we're going to be getting. I'm hoping for maybe a good flower this time. Okay, so we have three flowers. Three sands and also three circlets. And we also have three feathers, but only one goblet this time. Let's check from the goblet then. Okay, that was absolutely horrible. Better. Nah, it has flat HP and also defense percent, so I'm not going to roll on this. Not this one as well. And not this one. Okay, moving on to the circlets. Crit. I mean, it had crit as its substat, but not its main stat. Crit. Defense. Crit. Okay. Flower. Bad. Bad. Very, very bad. Oh no. Sans, please. HP, Elemental Mastery, I mean I will keep this one, it has energy recharge and also some crit damage, yeah I'll keep this one and see whether it goes into crit rate, and no, and we're moving on to a fourth batch. And here we go, please another good piece would be great, let's start from the right this time because we have 5 sands and I'm not really sure whether we'll be getting a good circlet or a good goblet. Yeah, let's do it this way. So, no defense. Please, come on. Another good piece. It's not that hard. Ooh, another one. Another one of these very, very high potential pieces. Okay. Nope. And also nope. I'm not really expecting much now. As long as we get another one, maybe in the next batch or maybe the next next batch. I don't really mind. Flower. Mmm. Should I keep it? I mean, it has... 
max roll onto crit rate. Mm, nah, I'll skip it. This one, definitely not. It's worse than the first one. Mm, maybe this one though, because it does have EM along with the 3.5% crit rate. Yeah, I'll keep this one. And moving on to the two circlets. Nope. And also no. Goblet, not expecting much here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Definitely. So moving on to the last and fifth batch. And let's go. Please, a good flower or a good feather. I wouldn't mind either. Just give me one. Okay, so we do have four feathers here. And also three um, flowers. Let's start from the left side this time around. From the um, goblets. Ooh, dendro damage bonus. I'll keep this one. Solely because of how it's dendro damage and it also has EM and crit rate. Mm, should I keep this one? It might roll into crit damage and I can finally give my Eula a decent physical damage piece. Not this one. Not this one either. Oh, come on. Please. Ooh, finally. A feather with double crit. Let's go. And also EM. Final feather. Nah. Okay, so we have a very, very good feather. And the goblet. Nope. I mean the circlet. And for the flower. Ooh, this one has potential. I can sense it. Not this one. Or oh, should I roll on this? No, I don't think so. Last flower, not even one crits that. Sands. Okay, so the sands have been performing very well. And we're down to our last, I think, like 20 artifacts. Okay, 15. Let's go. Please, just one good goblet. I can sense it. There's three goblets here. One of them has to be electro damage bonus with double crit. Let's start with the metal goblet. No, but there's still hope. There's still hope it's not over until you're onto your last one. Okay. Circlet, please. No. Flower. Also a no. I mean, we still have six left, so might as well. And we've got one circlet and one feather. Let's go. Let's start with the... Yeah, let's start with the feather first. Nope. Circle it and it's also a no. So that's it for the strong box session of this video. Let's move on to rolling for the artifacts individually then. As you can see, I've got quite the amount of fodder here that I can invest on my artifacts. Around, I'd say maybe 300. And we also have three bottles of these. Not sure how many levels can this contribute to, but still better than not having any. So we're going to start with the existing ones that I've leveled up to level one. Let's start from maybe this sands. Actually, no, let's start from this. Because it does have um, crit rate. So if it rolls into crit rate and only crit rate after um, unlocking the fourth slot, then we'll be happy. Let's start by using this level four. So we're going to get something good. Okay, defense. But as long as it doesn't roll into defense, we're chill. All right, level eight. Come on, crit rate. Okay, roll into attack. It's still usable if it rolls into crit rate next. If it doesn't roll into crit rate, I'll give up on this piece. Come on now. Crit rate. Come on. What does it just have to roll into attack percent? All right, we're going to have to sacrifice this piece to another one then. This sands, I can sense it. Crit damage. Like, I don't lie about these things. I know what I'm talking about. See? One roll into crit damage to unlock it, and then another roll into crit rate. So we get it to 7.4%. And we're going to get our level 12 roll. And it went into attack. Okay, it's fine. One roll into attack. Okay, the moment of truth. Yes, I think that was a minimum roll, but still 10% crit rate. Let's go. Moment of truth. And the roll into crit rate again, but once again, it was a minimum roll. So 12.8% crit rate plus 7.8% crit damage. Can't do the math, but I think that is still above 30 CV. I'll keep this piece and probably use it on one of the future one of the future characters. Okay, that was good. That was good. Let's move on to maybe this flower then. I think it's going to roll into crit rate this time as well. Crit rate. Oh my god, my luck is actually so busted today. That's like, what, two pieces of artifacts in a row that unlocked either crit rate or crit damage. Please, crit rate or crit damage? Let's go crit damage, and I think that was a 7%. Okay, level 12. Come on now, crit rate. Ooh, what did it roll into? HP percent. 
Okay, it's fine. One roll into HP, I can deal with that. So please, crit rate or crit damage. Let's go, crit rate. We're going to upgrade this later on in the future. And let's move on to the thundering pieces that we unlocked today. So we've got this one that is at um, level 1 that I got before recording this video. So let's try and get it to level 4 and see what it's going to roll into. Crit damage. Oh, come on. It just had to roll to crit rate. I mean HP percent. I don't know what I'm talking about. But I think we should try maybe... Where's the sands of 4 slots? Yeah, this one. We're going to try this one first. Okay, so it rolled into crit rate once. That was nice. Please. Nice. Crit damage. Come on now. Show it to me. Crit rate, crit damage. Let's go. 32 CV at only level 12. But unfortunately, we don't really have that many for the left. So we're going to have to roll into the other pieces. Let's try... What other four liners do we have? Yeah, let's try this one. Roll into crit rate, crit damage. Ah, oh, what do we roll into? Alright, elemental mastery. That's still usable. Level 8 has to roll into crit rate or crit damage. And then roll into EM again. Let's do one of these two um, goblets then. Should we do the dendral one or the physical one first? Let's do the Euler one. Because I pre-recorded a video of this maybe a few days ago. So, let's see. It's been over a year since I've gotten Euler. It has to be time for me to get myself physical damage main stat piece for my Euler. Come on now. Crit damage. No, I don't want EM. Should we do one of the sands? I mean, we have very, very good sands here. We've got one that is like this. And we also have this one that we can roll on in the future. Maybe one of the flowers. Yeah, let's do this one. Maybe it will roll into crit damage. Crit damage. Never mind. Let's roll on this Dendro damage goblet then. Maybe I'll roll into um, crit damage. I know I have got... All right, I was about to say, I know I have gotten a lot of good pieces already today, but maybe... One of these circlets. Let's do the crit damage one first. Please. Crit rate. Bat attack. Moving on to the crit rate one. Come on now. Crit damage. Come on now. Yes. Let's go. Crit damage. We're rolling to flat defense. Come on. Should we do maybe this attack piece? If we get like energy recharge or maybe elemental mastery, that'll be great. Come on. Oh, it just had to be flat defense. Oh well, it is what it is. We have gotten quite a lot of good pieces. Like what, five maybe? Let's count. So this one, did we roll on this one? I think we did. So we've got one, two. I got this one off camera, I think. So one, two, three, four, and five. We've got five very good pieces. And we also have a few that we haven't rolled onto at all yet. Including these ones that I got off camera. Like I said, I'm going to show you guys how they are after they're fully raised. But since this video is going to be one of those pre-recorded videos, I guess you'll see by the time this video comes out. Anyway, that'll do for today's video. 3.3 should be out by the time you're watching this, and I can't wait to try out the new TCG game mode. Hopefully you enjoyed me gambling in the artifacts wrong box again, and if you did, please like and subscribe as it really, really helps me out, and see you in the next one. Bye!